Theme 3. Persecution in China Tens of thousands of Falun Gong practitioners in China have been subjected to illegal detention, forced labor, torture, rape, forced abortion, and even death, simply for practicing their religious beliefs. This painting portrays several of the over 100 documented torture techniques used on Falun Gong practitioners. Other torture methods are too obscene to be portrayed on canvas. Investigators estimate that tens of thousands of Falun Gong adherents have been murdered in the ongoing persecution. Red Wall This work records the personal experience and internal turmoil of the artist, Professor Kunlung Zhang. Professor Zhang was sentenced for three years in China, but thanks to pressure from the outside world, he was released after three months. During his incarceration, he experienced physical and mental torture. The Red Wall represents both the Chinese Communist Party and the blood of the innocents killed in the regime's six-decade reign of terror. The two Chinese characters on the wall read suppression and refer to the suppression of Falun Gong in China. Despite the wall's size and strength, a crack foretells its impending collapse. Why? This painting is based on the true story of a mother and her young son who were detained and beaten in a Chinese jail for petitioning their government to end the campaign against Falun Gong. The child is too young to understand the hatred of the police and cries out, why? An Orphan's Sorrow Several thousand Falun Gong practitioners are known to have died from torture and abuse in custody. The children of these practitioners suffer tremendously as their parents are imprisoned and murdered. This young girl holds the ashes of her parents. She wears her father's jacket, now her only protection from the coming winter. The writing on the left identifies the wall in the forced labor camp where her parents were murdered by the state. The child's tormented gaze and the dark tones surrounding her represent the shared pain of other Falun Gong orphans. A tragedy in China. A young woman sits on the side of the bed, grasping her sleeves in grief. Her tears glisten in the dim light. Her hands are closed firmly, but not clenched, representing her inner strength and determination to persist in her faith. Her dead husband's body lies behind her, one hand over his bloody stomach. His shackled ankles showed he died in detention. The wounds and bloodstains are the results of the torture he received. His other hand hangs down, clasping a torn, unsigned paper that reads brainwashing papers. The Communist Party systematically uses torture against Falun Gong practitioners to force them to give up their beliefs. While in custody, practitioners are asked to sign a written promise to stop practicing in exchange for a lighter prison sentence, an end to the torture, or an early release. The unsigned paper shows that even in death, he refused to give up his beliefs. My son. 
a mother's eyes confront the viewer with a question, why? In one arm, she holds the body of her dead son. In the other, she holds a medical release slip issued by the jail where he was held. Tortured to the brink of death, he was released early so authorities could avoid responsibility for his death. The mother's worn face shows the agony of watching her son die. Tiger Bench The torture technique known as the Tiger Bench is used on a Falun Gong practitioner. Prison guards stack bricks beneath the feet while tight ropes hold the legs down until the bones snap. A golden halo crowns the Falun Gong practitioner. The guards also have dark halos, suggesting the destiny that awaits each man based on the choices they have made. Cage. The victim is forced to squat in a small cage for long periods of time. While in the cage, they are not allowed to move or speak and are subjected to other forms of torture. The cage also represents the nation of China. The campaign against Falun Gong has lasted for over 10 years. And for Falun Gong practitioners, their home country has become a giant cage. Freed by Faith Inspired by a true story, a young woman simply walks out of the labor camp where she was held as a prisoner of conscience. Her hand sign, commonly used by practitioners of Falun Gong, symbolizes her inner strength and conviction. The less fortunate may be held for many years facing torture, death, and organ harvesting. To date, more than 3,200 such deaths have been documented by human rights groups. Dislodged the campaign against Falun Gong in China has forced tens of thousands of people to leave their homes. A young woman, now homeless, holds a Falun Gong book close to her. An angelic presence suggests that her struggle is for a higher cause. 